Coach, um, what changed? I mean, they kind of control the first half, but you didn't have a lead till mid third quarter, and you get you dominated after that. Well, it, I tell you, it, it was kind of a uh, reverse of our two games with them during the season. We played really well in the first half. Mm -hmm. uh, in the game here, we're up 18 in the third and lose in overtime. At home, we're up 20 in the third. Uh, they come all the way back, cut it to four, and we hung on to win. So it was sort of a flip of the script. Um, but I think I think the big thing was just the determination they came out of the locker room with. You know, young teams, uh, oftentimes when the offense is not flowing, and we weren't, we couldn't make one, we had some easy ones. Uh, unfortunately, often take that to the defensive end. And so we missed some blockouts. They got some easy second shots and easy extra possession. Um, but we cut those way down in the second half. And then we get a, made a couple shots, got a chance to get out and run. So I'm really yeah. proud of him. Yeah, and um, you know, Fury for them had a great game, the opening game against Fox River, and a great first half. He already had double-double in the first half. Yeah. You guys, I mean, I don't know if you made any adjustments on him, but you really um, changed, changed uh, things there. Well, he, uh, he had, the thing that really opened it up for him, he didn't shoot the three very well against us. He had good games. Both of his games against us were really good. Mm -hmm. But the, dyna the uh, dynamic that's caused by him when he starts hitting threes is a whole different one. So we did, we, we, uh, uh, the major adjustment was Pierce, Walston got it in most of the second half. They've played a lot against each other, um, and, but Eduardo had a tremendous game. He's a, he's, he's a really good basketball player. Yeah, he certainly is. And, you know, the offense, everybody's going to notice the offense, but really your defense is what changed, changed things, and that set everything up for the rest of the game. Huh? Yeah. Our, the uh, they didn't get it. They still got some easy shots, but they didn't get as many. And the big thing was they didn't get the second shots. Uh, we uh, we had, one of our priorities going into the game was to control everything inside the arc and on the defensive end, and we didn't do a very good job of that in the first half. But we really locked it down in the second half. And again, our defense typically fuels our offense, and we get gave us some easy ones. Now, was there a certain point in the year where you thought this team could could reach a regional final? Uh, <laughs> that, that's a great question. I, I, I told them, uh, in fact, in my comments to them right after the game, uh, I've known they had some special, something special in terms of the way they feel against each other. And I told them that after halftime, uh, I, I said to myself, I would rather lose than have them uh, break apart that special bond they have. And uh, so I think whenever you have a team that believes in each other, Hey, and sometimes the nice thing about being young and you don't know what you don't know <laughs> and uh, they've had a lot of success in younger grades coming up through and uh, they love they love to play and you know it, you know I, I'm blessed I'm blessed to work with them I'm blessed to work with them uh, lastly you got you got you're gonna have uh, Ellsworth or Old Town what do you think about those teams uh, I don't want to play either one of them uh, <laughs> you, you can arrange that uh, two well-coached teams uh, you know, obviously we have the we have the key rivalry with Old Town. Uh, it's like in some ways it's like it's like playing your brother. You know, uh, the the kids all know each other, uh, and uh, it's it's always a lot of fun. We play it's the healthiest rivalry I think I've ever been part of. Uh, when, when our guys aren't playing them, they're here cheering for them. Okay, and Ellsworth, Coach Austin is uh, one of the best coaches in the state, and his team is so sound. And uh, when you take you take uh, Curtis and Mercier two of the top players, not just in our level, but I think in the state. So either one is a handful, uh, but you know, we'll show it, play as hard as we can, and hope to get a bounce or two. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you.